The traditional conception of God as a creator uh, in the Islamic tradition is that God, of course, had a plan, had purpose, uh, uh, delineated exactly how things were going to uh, work out and play out. Uh, but at the same time, we need to understand how did that plan and purpose play out with the existence of some elements of randomness, uh, whether at the lowest levels of physics or at the highest scales of the cosmos. God has what we call a God's eye view of the universe and of creation, not just in space, but also in time. In other words, God sees and knows everything all at once, everywhere. So he knows what is happening today, what is happening yesterday, what was happening yesterday, what will be happening tomorrow. Yesterday, today and tomorrow is for us human beings, but for God it is all at the same instant, at the same level that he sees. In, so for him it is not does he know what will happen tomorrow, does he know which nucleus is going to decay or which quantum process is going to happen or which meteoroid is going to fall on earth or on the moon. For him, he is seeing all of the events at the same time. He knows all the events at the same time. And by uh, creating, by starting this creation with the laws that he has put in the universe and in nature, he knows exactly what is going to happen at every instant at every point in the universe and so there is no issue whether those are for us random, probabilistic, uh, chaotic or not. For him they are all happening, all, we cannot even say happening, there's no ING, they are all occurring or existing at the same instant or at the same uh, view, at the same level for God. So in that sense, there is, there is no issue. The bottom line question is, why would God create a, a universe that is probabilistic, chaotic, not deterministic, that for us seems to be sort of happening by chance, or at least some elements are happening by chance, and that squaring off of our conception of what is happening uh, through history, the history of the universe, the history of Earth, the history of the physical processes, and the history of humans, with how God created all of this world, there must be some coherence and some meaning, and that's what we are trying to figure out.